Okay, pedaling off of a single string. Uh, uh, Neoclassical metal uses a lot. Uh, I'm not into big death metal. I sold my soul to Satan. I like hurting people. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I don't like hurting anyone. Screw that. Anyway, but I like neoclassical metal because I always liked it. Or it's like the neoclassical stuff, right? We're going to start on the D string open. Okay, open D. Tap on the third fret, same string. Alternate, pick that D. Third fret. Now, tap on the fifth. Seventh. Eighth. Seventh. Fifth. Always paddling that D. Third. How was there? Now go up to the G string and do the same thing, same frets. Back to G. And keep it even. Now the A string. So D string, three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, two, open. And then power chord. G string, same thing. Three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, two, power chord. G. So D, D. Seven, eight, seven, five, three, two, then A, same thing. I'm figuring it different. Instead of just tapping with my index finger, I'm using those harmonic male minor. So, I'll do it faster. You can and, and mix it up. I'll mix it up. So I can go three, five, eight, five, or seven. Hold on, I thought I heard my mom. She went at the pool. Change a little bit. On this one, you can do hammer on. One to four hammer on. Go down a half step. Tap it. You get that neoplastic.
All right, so that's basically how you're gonna use the channel, the pedal tone, and then you can do that. And that's how you're gonna combine those techniques, so. All right, I think my buyers are dying, so I think I'm gonna call it on that one.